major correction from the previous video. It is not 60 days, it is 30 days. <laughs> I actually already received my visa. I received it 12 hours after applying. I submitted my application about 8 p.m. on Friday night. By 8 a.m. Saturday morning, 12 hours later, I got a notification that my visa had been granted. Everything went through just the way that I showed you. So on Saturday morning, 8 a.m., I received an email saying that my visa had been granted. So I just go into the same website I've been going to, and you go down to where it says uh, print. Uh, this, I have to expand this window a little bit. It's not giving me all the options. There we go. It says uh, check your visa status, and we're going to click on that window on that button. And then you just put in your application ID, your passport number, and then the code there and you hit check status and then the next screen would take you to a place where you could simply print it off. It's going to be printing off in a PDF. But it's important to note that it, you don't have a 60 day window, you have a 30 day window. So thankfully the turnaround time on visas is very quick. It's, <laughs> it's In my experience it has been about 24 hours or less to achieve uh, the granting of the visa because once you're granted the visa, you have 30 days. So, so the date of the issue of the ETA, the Electronic Travel Authorization, the date of issue of the ETA is December 3rd and the date of expiration is January 2nd. And that's it, so 30 days um, for these electronic visas, for the e-visas, that is the case. It is possible to get longer term visas than this, however, We've always just gone with an e-visa because it suits our purposes and it's very quick and easy. Um, if you want to go, for example, for a 10-year visa, I understand you can get those as well, but I believe you actually have to go into that you, you have to go in and actually apply in person to the uh, to the embassy, I think. So the e-visa is very simple, very quick. But yes, 30 days, <laughs> 30 days from the date that you're granted, you have to be in country. By 30 days later or I'm assuming that you just have to reapply and do the whole thing over again and then after that point it is good for 30 days so as long as I'm in the country by January 2nd which I will be we plan to be traveling by late December um, as long as I'm in the country by January 2nd I'm fine we don't plan to leave but we do have the ability with this visa to actually leave and then come back it's a double entry visa um, and I think it's limited to two though just like you can leave once and come back in during that 30 day period. So you have 30 days after the date that you first come in. So we're gonna come in, I think it's December 28th or December 29th, we're gonna be coming in and then you would have 30 days after that to, uh, well, leave the country. <laughs> this visa, I will be keeping an electronic copy of it. My students will all be keeping electronic copies of their visas. And I also have a hard copy in color of all of the visas that um, the students will be having one copy and I will be keeping hard copies of the, all of them as well. We just really don't want to take any chances with this. You'd be surprised the number of times that you need to pull out your visa. Every time you check into a hotel, for example, they pull out this great big book and then you, <laughs> and then they write down your passport number, your visa number. They're, they're always keeping track of exactly where you are in the country. So we are going to be keeping these on our person at all times. So one more level of uh, getting ready to leave for India. It's coming up. It's like three weeks away, y'all. Excited.